How to create a website with Weebly free website tutorial 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, we're going to be discussing how you can create your very own website using a, a software called Weebly. So Weebly is this great e-commerce software that allows you to create any type of website you want and it's totally free and it's totally great. And I'll take you through all the processes of how to access it and how to use it to create your very own website. It's going to be very simple. I'm going to sign you up and I'm going to take you through all the features so just sit back and relax and follow all of my instructions so without further ado let's get straight into it first of all you're gonna go on your google and you're gonna write weebly now once you write weebly you're gonna come down here and you're gonna see weebly.com weebly's free website builder makes it easy to create a website blog or online stores so it's just like wix godaddy jimdo shopify and it's a great software so uh, i recommend that you use it so we're just gonna get straight into weebly now, once we go on Weebly, we can see that it's an e-commerce that's um, made by Square. Now, Square Up is a great platform as well. You can use it to create websites. So, um, without further ado, uh, if you come down here, you can see all of these great offers that Weebly has to offer and all these great features. You can uh, look all of this. You can see through all of this. You can uh, access their support center, grow your business anytime, anywhere. It's a very user-friendly website and you can go through it all. Uh, up here, you can see that uh, they have different guides, marketing, themes, features. You can check that as well. You can check their pricings, their online stores and website templates if you want to. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and sign ourselves up. So now that we're going to sign up, it's going to ask us to sign up for Square Up first of all, because obviously Weebly is e-commerce by Square. So uh, we're going to sign up for our Square Up. So let's sign ourselves up. Uh, you're going to place your first name, your last name, then you're going to enter your email. I have a temporary email over here. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. And I'm going to paste it again. Strong password because these websites usually demand something like that. Agree to the terms and continue. Now, once you continue, it's going to load you up a bit. Now, once it's loaded up and uh, it's going to verify your details, the account request is processing. Please wait. And once all of that is done, it's going to bring you here and it asks what kind of website would you like to create? Now, it's going to say I just need a website or I need a website with an online store. Now, these two are crucial options because obviously if you only need a website like for a blog or server or something like that, you need to go with I just need a website. But if you need a proper e-commerce store, then you need to go with I need a website with an online store. Right now, this tutorial is only about websites, so I'm going to go with this. But if you want to create a store, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you with that as well. So for now, we're going to go on I just need a website. Now, once you do that, we're going to come down here and we're going to see all these great themes and templates that Weebly has provided us. So you can check all of these out. You can look through them if you want to. They're all amazing. They're all great. And they're all uh, uh, categorized according to their titles. So if it's a portfolio, you can choose any one of these. If it's for business, you can choose these. If it's personal, like a blog, you can choose any one of these. It depends on you totally. So once you've seen what you like, and if you like a template, let's say uh, in personal, I like this one a lot. So I'm just going to click on that. And once you click on it, you're going to come over here where it says theme preview. So you can see how it looks. You can see how the buttons look, how it's going to redirect you to things. And if you like what you see, then you're just going to click on start editing. Now, once you click on start editing, it's going to load you up into the next page. I'm just going to wait for it to load up. It takes a moment in loading because there's a lot of things going on in the background in Weebly because there are so many features. So once you come here, it says select your domain name. Now, if you already have a domain, you can connect it or transfer it, or you can just choose one that Weebly provides you with. So just choose any random name, which isn't taken. And once you do that, you're going to click on search and that is if you have we can use these now obviously these aren't free if you want a free domain then you're gonna have to go with this one that weebly gives it to yourself uh, or you can just buy any of these with a one-year plan so I'm just gonna choose this one because I want to use a free one and then I'm gonna click on done 
now that I'm here, from here on out, I can start editing my website or web page that I created from Weebly. So let's get into it. So first of all, let's discuss how to remove the objects in your page already that you don't like. Let's say I don't like this quote down here that it's given. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and I'm going to click on the cross and I'm going to delete it. There we go. That's how simple it is. And know this, that Weebly saves as you do. So basically, if I were to delete the spacer or this header right here, it's going to save it right there and then. So just know this, there's no room for uh, like you won't lose any of your work done because Weebly saves it as you do it, which is a great feature in my opinion. So to add text, what you're going to do is you're going to see this basic ribbon bar over here and you're going to go on anything you want to add. Let's say I want to add a proper title and I'm going to drag it up here. Now, once you drag it there, it's going to open this for you and you're going to write anything you want. So let's say my first web page and you're going to put that in and here you can uh, start messing around with it. Let's say if you want to move it, you can move it around or uh, if you can bring it down, you can bring it up if you want to or you can just uh, move it or copy it around. And that's how simple it is. If you want to change the boldity of it, let's say if you want to make it bold, uh, if you want to make it italic, underlined, you want to increase the font, decrease the font. And you can also change the colors if you want to. So let's say I want to make it green. There we go. It's green. So that's how you mess around with the texts. And this is for if you want to add basic, uh, let's say, paragraphs. So let's say, hi, my name is, uh, you're going to put in your name. And this is uh, my first time creating. So this is how you basically just go on and on and it just creates a line of texts for you. And once you've done that, then you can start adding images like you're probably wondering how this man added this big image over here. That's added with this. You can click on image, you can drag it anywhere you want to add it. And once you do that, over here, you're going to click on upload images and you can upload any image from your computer. And that's how simple it is to upload images to your page. And from there on out, you can add slideshows. You can add uh, basically a map if you want to, if you want to show a location for some, uh, let's say, uh, place you're uh, marketing on your website. Basically, you can put in an embedded HTML code to like increase a better design or something if you want to. You can even add buttons. Now, what are buttons? Buttons are like uh, this thing right here. This is a button. So buttons are basically to redirect you somewhere. So let's say if I click on this contact me, it redirects me to the contact page. So this is a button and you can add it. And if you want to mess around with what it does, then uh, you can look at that. You can add a link over here. And what that does is when you click on this button, you're going to go to this link. So that's how simple it is to work around with button buttons. And if you come down here, there's just more media that you can add and you can play around with it all if you want to. And it's just very easy and very simple. And it's a great website to create your uh, first uh, web page with. And once you've done everything, once you're satisfied with what you're made, what you're going to need to do is you're just going to go up here on publish and you're going to click on publish and it's going to start publishing your website. And once it does that, you can see website published. This is your domain name. So let's say I open this link in new tab. Uh, I'm going to wait for it to load and look at that. This is what my website looks like. And I just created this right now. And if I click on the contact me, look at that. It brings me over here. And this is how great Weebly is. It just creates everything for you. So I recommend you start using it today. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, you can also change it to mobile view and you can see how it's going to look on mobile view. And you can also ch tweak the settings if you want it different for desktop view and mobile view. So once you've done and you've liked what you see, you're again going to publish. And that is how simple it is to create a website using Weebly. So yeah, that's all from me. Uh, if you have any more queries related to this video, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know that as well. Uh, but yeah, until then, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot and uh, share this video around with anyone in need.
But yeah, until then, I hope you all have a great day. That's all from me, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.